Many of young and restless longtime viewers will have already put together the significance of the bottle of champagne Sharon just received on the soap, which means they also know it's not good. But it's not only Sharon fans who should be concerned. When Sharon Case began teasing a big upcoming story, there was all sorts of speculation about what the heck might be going on. Was Sharon's breast cancer coming back? Would we finally meet her father? Might this involve a reunion with Nick? Ray coming back from the dead was even tossed around because, hey, it's a soap opera. At the time, Case alluded to a former cast member being on set whom she couldn't name as it might give away the story. This led to speculation that her worst nightmare might be headed back to Geno City, aka the diabolical Cameron Kirsten. After all, it would be an easy commute to CBS studios for Lyndon Ashby, whose wife, Susan Walters, is currently playing Diane Jenkins. Well, folks who are familiar with the history between Sharon and Cameron will have realized that the champagne bottle is a harbinger of doom. Why? When Kirsten, who had had sex with Sharon in a hotel room, and beat her terribly, turned up in town threatening her again if she didn't meet him for sex. Sharon met him on New Year's Eve. He tried to rape her and she bashed him over the head with a champagne bottle. Sharon then dragged his body down the back stairs and hid his body in a dumpster. It all gets more convoluted from there, but suffice it to say that although Sharon thought Kirsten was dead and she disposed of his body, he was very much alive. Although Cameron was turned over to the police back in the day, it seems he's either now served his time and was released, or he has escaped. Who else would send Sharon a bottle of bubbly and then spy on her while sinister music played in the background? This is clearly horrific news for Sharon, but we couldn't help but get chills knowing that Kirsten was watching her as she spent time alone in the coffeehouse at night with baby area. The return of Cameron Kirsten is a threat to anyone Sharon loves. Faith is safely away at school, but Maria and Tessa, along with Aria, are in the line of fire. Would he kidnap the baby to get his revenge on Sharon? Would he attempt to harm her daughter? Anything is on the table with this monster. The silver lining to all of this, of course, is that Sharon's finally going to be in a front-burner story. Heck, Noah may even make an appearance or two if his mom's under threat. For Sharon and Nick fans, it's a boon as well, as he'll unquestionably get involved. What do you make of Sharon's mysterious gift? Do you think Kirsten is a threat to her family members or just her? Let us know in the comment section.